Eddie House and Mina Smith here with you. And the Celtics fall to the Knicks 114 to 107. We saw the starters last night against the Sixers. Tonight we saw a lot of the bench depth, a lot of those players behind that top six. Eddie, what did the bench depth show you in this matchup? Well, it looked like Peyton Pritchard is finding his footing, understanding that the work he put in, not only did he get rewarded with the contract, but he has an opportunity to come out here and and show that the second unit, he's going to run that second mm. unit. He's going to be a threat in that second unit. Um, I, and, you know, McCauley came in. He played well um, early on. He shot the ball particularly well early on. And um, Banton, he played well. Yeah. So just to see guys, other guys, do other things in different ways. They did things in different ways. Brissett played well as well. But, um, you know, it, it's preseason. Yeah. And it's all about just getting your footing, understanding where you're going to be played, how you're going to be played, the minutes you're going to use. So I think it's it's great The uh, you get the the – the feeling of like, okay, this is where I'm going to be inserted. This mm. is how I'm going to play. This is what I have to do. Right. Your, your minutes ain't going to be that long, and you got to maximize them. And 21 points, three rebounds, and five assists for Peyton Pritchard. Let's take a look at his night and some of those highlights. And really, he inserted a lot of energy into this fast-paced matchup. You talk about Peyton Pritchard kind of finding his footing. What type of leader are you expecting him to be based on what you saw tonight for that second unit? Well, he's coming in and he's scoring. You know, uh, he, he's active defensively, and I think that's the first thing that he needs to focus on is, hey, i got to make sure that I, I'm playing defense, number one. When you're locked in and engaged defensively, usually the offense comes a little bit easier because you are so engaged but you know he's he's a guy that's, that's looking to get buckets mm -hmm. and and he's a bucket getter right so I believe that at what he needs to do is focus on defense when he gets in knock down those shots play with this same confidence throughout the year yeah they paid you there's no reason to not have any confidence right now and you also talked about at halftime you know wanting Peyton Pritchard to work on setting up other guys how do you develop that skill as a guard was well, watching watching tape yeah. that's really what it is it's watching film getting in the film room understanding the type of looks you're going to get when you're coming off the pick and roll. Are they going to be in that drop coverage? Are they going to blitz you because you're a guy that can shoot the ball? Are they going to go over the top of the pick and roll? If they go under, obviously you're going to shoot the ball because they're going to go under. If they're playing that drop, drop coverage. How are you going to manipulate that? So I think he has to get in the film room with that and understand that he could lay the table for other guys. But being able to score is a threat in this league. Mm. You know, you have to be uh, somebody that is accounted for. And I think that uh, a lot of the guys on the team today – um, especially Peyton um, and Sfee as well. He's a guy that you could throw in at the end of a quarter and you have to account for him. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that the play might be ran for him, but you have to account for him. And if you mess up, he's a guy that you could trust and they can knock down a shot. Well, Peyton Pritchard, he's been on a heater for these first two preseason games. Let's take a look at how he's done in those first two preseason games. It's presented by 24autogroup.com. 11 locations across New England. You see the score right there with 26 points in that first matchup against the Sixers last night. 21 points tonight, as I mentioned, three rebounds and five assists. Also three steals in this game. I think that's like a sneaky good stat, though, Eddie, for, for Peyton Pritchard. Three steals, that means, he's, that means it's just like you mentioned him being active on the defensive end of the floor. Yeah, active hands, being in the right place at the right time, understanding guys' tendencies and things like that. Peyton is a guy that could defend, right? Well, he came in, knowing, everybody knows that he could score the basketball. He's looking to get his shot off and things like that. But how he's going to make his bones and, and he's made his money, he got some money, and he, how he's going to get that next contract is being a guy that does both mm. defending and then also being super serviceable on the offensive end. But it starts with the with the defense, and and that's how he's going to earn a lot of minutes here. And but one thing I did like about. He pushed the pace right. the whole game. Every time the ball was in his hands, he was getting the ball up the court as fast as he could, and I do like that. Well, one guy we did not get to see out there on the court tonight was uh, Drew. Well, oh, look, okay, now we're going to bring him in. We got Drew Carter, and we also got Scal as well. Scal, when you take a look at this matchup tonight, what stood out to you? I mean, I just like the way that that group played. I really like the combination of Pritchard and Benton. I, I mean, there's a lot of good things you could take from this. You're going against you know, Nick starters, and but uh, I, to me, the biggest thing was just the pace that we played at. We did it in game one. We're doing it in game two. It's hard to extract things, 
when the top six guys don't play, but you're searching for guys that you think that you can count on during an 82 game season. Yeah, let's keep in mind the Knicks played pretty much everyone tonight, right? I mean, they had their, their starting lineup, Jalen Brunson, Julius Randle. They both played, and the Celtics were in this game for in sure. the fourth quarter, which, which I think is is pretty encouraging. You saw some guys handle the handle the basketball. That they get to do that in the preseason, probably won't get a chance to do a whole lot of that in the regular season. So that was fun to see. Scout, what did you like about the pace of this matchup, how the Celtics, also the Knicks, were pushing the basketball up and down the court? I th I, if you look around the NBA, a lot of teams are doing that right now. I don't know if that will stick over time, but right now you're seeing teams pushing the ball, and it's not just with the dribble. J.D. Davison does it with the dribble because he flies up the court, but a lot of teams are pushing ahead on the pass. Oh, cool. Teams are used inside this, uh, the whole court, so getting, getting teams on the move. It's a, really, it's, it's a really beautiful game right now, what we're seeing. It's not guys getting in shape or getting ready. The game is quick, it's fast. People making quick decisions, and uh, usually the preseason could look a little murky at times, but I, I like what I've seen at least the first two games. Yeah, the pace of definitely making these games interesting. Also, great job, Drew, on the call for your first preseason game. Uh, definitely enjoyed hearing you out there. Hand claps all around. All right, thanks so much, guys.